Hello guys, good evening, this is Mike Padua and we are back to our latest weather analysis for this Wednesday to Friday, April 6 to 8, 2022 and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update, here's the latest graph set for today Wednesday until tomorrow Thursday. The northeasterly surface wind flow continues to prevail across the uh, uh, northern and central sections of the country including the Bicol region, Mimaropa, and uh, eastern uh, and northern Samar. So these areas will have breezy conditions with some passing rain showers and thunderstorms. With the shear line already departing towards the northeast, yesterday the shear line affected uh, parts of Metro Manila, as well as uh, Central Luzon, Southern Tagalog provinces, including uh, Bicol region. And right now, it's starting to uh, move farther away. And uh, meanwhile, low pressure area 94W is just along the coastal areas of Davao Oriental, uh, around uh, 170 plus kilometers to the east northeast of Davao City. And it is uh, currently quasi stationary as of this time with a lower chance of uh, developing into a tropical cyclone within the next 24 hours but its trough will continue to bring isolated to scattered to at times widespread rain showers and thunderstorms across Mindanao uh, including the offshore areas of Bangsamoro, rest of the Visayas as well as Sulu Archipelago. So this uh, tropical low will continue to persist over these areas and it is ex expected to move more to the north within the next couple of days. And uh, meanwhile, the uh, other low pressure area outside of PAR, this is uh, LPA95W, has become active during the past 24 hours and is now a moderate chance or a medium chance of becoming a tropical cyclone within the next uh, 24 hours. Although Japan Meteorological Agency already upgraded it into a tropical depression during the past 6 hours and likely by tomorrow this could become tropical depression with tag ID 02W once JTWZ or Joint Typhoon Warning Center upgrades it into a tropical cyclone. So we are going to show to you the forecast model in a short while. Uh, meanwhile, if we take a look at the uh, fast animation, so you can see those broad cloudiness associated with its trough and the uh, series of two low pressure system which, in which the one of those is already a tropical depression per JMA, Japan Meteorological Agency. And uh, right here the, over the Philippine Islands, some scattered, isolated rain showers and thunderstorms will be expected in most parts of the country. And if we take a look at the zoom-in satellite animation, this is the infrared satellite as it is now nighttime around the 9 p.m. You can still see uh, isolated showers and thunderstorms across the Visayas, Mindanao, Southern Palawan, and some portions of the Vicol region while localized thunderstorms can be seen here over the uh, mountainous areas of Cordillera region as well as the Ilocos region. And if we take a look at the rain forecast from the European model for the next three days until Saturday, continuous isolated to scattered rain showers and thunderstorms will be expected for the next three days. Tomorrow afternoon, you can clearly see here a wide area of Big Ol, Visayas, and Mindanao will have isolated rain showers and thunderstorms as well as on Friday until Saturday with the, uh, the low pressure area 94W becoming a shallow one near the uh, coastal areas of eastern Samar. So it's somewhere right here, but here comes the uh, rainfall generated by this uh, LPA. And if we uh, take a look at the overall rainfall accumulation for the next three days until Saturday, much of the rainfall will be focused across the Visayas. So expect some possible uh, flash floods and uh, landslides when we have a very strong severe thunderstorms uh, over your respective areas. So uh, possible flooding and uh, let's just take note of those since this rainfall is still brought, brought to you by the uh, existing La Nina as well as the uh, series of uh, low pressure areas over the uh, Philippine uh, sea and the uh, western pacific so the uh, area of lpa is somewhere here 
along the coastal areas of eastern Mindanao. So Bicol region will not be spurred with these uh, thunderstorms and rains. So we are going to continue to experience this uh, rainfall every day, particularly during the afternoon across various sections of the Bicol region. Here over the uh, coastal areas of Ilocos region, particularly those facing the uh, uh, Balintang Channel, as well as the uh, Cagayan Valley and portions of Nueva Vizcaya and Isabela, as well as northern Quezon, this rainfall is due to the northeasterly surface wind flow. And also the Calayan Island Group and some parts of Spratlis will be affected by the rainfall brought about by the staff of LPA uh, 94W, which is expected to slowly weaken based on the uh, reliable computer models. But... Uh, the computer models like the ECMWF and the uh, American model doesn't agree when it comes to the forecast after five days. So we, we are going to show it to you in a while. So uh, here's now the latest forecast from the European model. There has been some good news on the forecast model. Uh, there is some shift of the uh, uh, forecast intensity of LPA94W based on the latest uh, European model. So uh, we're going to show to you in a short while, but we are going to focus uh, first on the uh, five-day forecast since this is uh, much uh, higher in probability to medium chance. So on Thursday afternoon, the uh, LPA94W will start to become disorganized and its remnants is all already here along the coastal areas of northern Karaga or along the eastern part of uh, Shargao. And here comes uh, LPA95W becoming a, a strong tropical depression. And on Friday afternoon, the uh, shallow uh, LPA uh, has become more elongated as you can see it here and here comes uh, tropical uh, depression 95w becoming a tropical storm as it moves towards yap area over the western micronesia and on saturday saturday afternoon the uh, remnants of the uh, shallow lpa is still there along the east uh, of uh, shargao and dinagat islands while the tropical storm 95W is uh, continues to move closer towards uh, Yap and is expected to uh, approach the area uh, this coming uh, weekend or early next week. So that's the forecast for the next three days. So this is more of a high to medium probability. So uh, the uh, possibility of uh, pushing through is at high levels. Uh, I mean high to uh, medium to high levels okay and we if we to take a look at the American model Thursday where well, it's all the same on Friday but take note on Friday this system 94W will move back to the east as it interacts with uh, LPA 95W and it may become a uh, tropical depression as well so the American model shows not just two, but three tropical cyclones. There's another one here over the south of Kalayan Island Group, over the West Philippine Sea that may develop into a tropical cyclone. Usually, the American model are always aggressive when it comes to the development of these tropical uh, lows. So we still don't know. But since the European model are tested when it comes to long-range forecast, their probability is much... Uh, uh, closer to reality than the American model. So if we take a look to Saturday afternoon, the three tropical uh, cyclone, okay, based on their forecast, is uh, quasi-stationary but starting to interact with each other. The uh, LPA94W becoming a much dominant system other than the 95W. But if you take a look at the uh, European model, it's only one that's uh, uh, tropical uh, storm 95W. 94W is nowhere to be found. Okay, so that's the uh, 
aggressiveness aggressiveness of the uh, American model. So I still don't mind the American model if uh, if we are basing it on the uh, ECMWF since the ECMWF doesn't show uh, the the third one over the West Philippine Sea. Now if we take a look on Sunday afternoon. There you go. This is uh, LPA 94W becoming much stronger into a severe tropical storm while a minimal tropical storm on 95W as it interacts doing some sort of a Fujiwara effect. When we say Fujiwara effect, that's the pull and push or merger of tropical cyclones within 1,500 or 1,200 kilometers to each other. Okay. And here comes the other one, which is, has no uh, interaction with these two. So this system is moving more to the north. So that's the forecast. As you can see, after three days, the forecast has gone with haywire, both of the uh, reliable computer models, the American and the European computer model. So we shall see on which computer model will become the more dominant one. And uh, usually on the uh, first three day forecast, these computer models are expected to blend with each other. So let's wait and see. Okay, so that's the uh, forecast. Now let's move it to our, to our, let's move it next week until Good Friday for those who are planning to uh, have a vacation or to travel elsewhere across the Philippine Islands. Holy Monday. LPA 95W, its remnants already uh, absorbed into the circulation of uh, Tropical Storm 95W as it is expected to move more to the north, okay, but entering the Philippine area of responsibility. So if we move this up, let me see, okay, Thursday afternoon, Tropical Storm 95W moving more to the west-northwest on Tuesday afternoon then Wednesday afternoon it is it will start to move more to the north okay because of a break of the ridge here so the system will go to that weakness or the break in the ridge and on Thursday afternoon it will start to recurve more to the north northeast and on Friday it's uh, already outside of par moving towards the south of Japan so this is somewhat good news when it comes to the European model. Only one system absorbing 94W come Monday. The forecast of Monday through Friday is uh, 50 down to 30 or less than 30%. So the probability is still low with uh, very high uncertainty. But still it's a good forecast. If we are asking if it will affect the Philippine Islands, there's no landfall based on the two computer models. Now let's move towards the American model. So American model is still showing a binary system with 95W being absorbed, but it's again moving away from our country. But as you can see, this system is threatening central zone as it moves towards the east following the track of much stronger tropical storm or even a typhoon 94w and yet another lpa here but nothing to worry so good friday it will make landfall over let me see the uh western section of luzon over the area of sambales or bataan but this is uh, weakening rapidly and it's so no longer there it's gone so this is somewhat tricky when it comes to uh, the American model. I don't mind this forecast, okay? The much uh, re reliable one is the European model. Let's stick with the re European model. But if it does uh, develop, if another system develop over the West Philippine Sea, the European model will uh, eventually appear here, okay? That uh, uh, system that is being forecasted by the American model. So there's nothing to worry. Okay, the much reliable one of the two, the uh, European model is what we are looking at. 
So again, uh, this is somewhat good news to us, but it will still the remnants of this LPA will bring rains across Visayas, Mindanao, and Bicol region within the next five days, as the new tropical uh, uh, cyclone is expected to approach the Philippine area of responsibility, and the remnants of 94W will remain quasi-stationary to the east of the Visayas. So we are going to wait for the next uh, model that will be tomorrow. And we will let you know on Friday what will be the outcome of that system. But uh, we might be issuing special uh, coverage tomorrow on this uh, uh, tropical cyclone outside of power. So watch out for our quick update on that and uh, so that you'll know what will be the uh, uh, tracking of the uh, potential tropical storm. So here's the uh, Typhoon global models from all of the uh, computer models including the two ones. This is the uh, European model entering par and recurving. Okay, uh, let me uh, do it again. Right here and then there. while the uh, American model is somewhere here and there and uh, it's likely that will, it will stay uh, more on a uh, let me see the majority of them is more towards a curvature so something like that so nothing to worry okay the Philippine area of responsibility is somewhere here here's the power line so it's a non-threat to our country. We are going to focus on 94W, its remnants, if it will intensif if, if it may intensify into a tropical cyclone. But that's the good news. Based on the new output from the European model, it's no longer expected to intensify. And before we leave you, here's the Global Tropics Hazards and Benefits Outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, issued every Wednesday, valid for the next two weeks. So as you can see for week one, valid April 6 to April 12, the whole of the West Philippine Sea, including the uh, uh, East Philippine Sea up to the Micronesian Islands are dark red. What does it mean? It says here, high confidence of a uh, tropical cyclone development. There you go, tropical cyclone formation of uh, at least tropical depression or tropical storm let me see yeah at least tropical depression or tropical storm strength so uh, the reason of this is because of those two LPAs and another one that may form if it pushes through over the uh, South China Sea or West Philippine Sea and as well as the Philippine Islands will have above average rainfall because of the existing of the La Nina phenomenon. And on week 2, valid uh, April 13 to April 19, the Philippine Islands will uh, continue to have uh, above average rainfall but with uh, moderate confidence or at 50% probability. So uh, this is not yet sure but we will uh, let you know on uh, uh, next week. Okay. So there you go. That's the latest for today or for this evening, April 6th. We will return on Friday or even tomorrow because we have already a tropical depression. We're going to give a quick uh, special coverage on that system here at our YouTube channel, Mr. Typhoon. At uh, our Facebook page, Mr. Typhoon.com. Okay, so again, this is Mike Pado reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag with the wiser. And thank you so much for watching our channel.